Hi and welcome to autopostingtools.com. Today I want to show you how you can use the Facebook fan page and group scraper. Uh, so basically this is a program that you can get on autopostingtools.com. We are going to go here on scraping and we're going to go here on Facebook group and pa fan page scraper. This is going to open up the window. The next thing we will do is we are going to log in with your uh, email and password for Facebook. I already logged in in this account, so I don't have to. But if you don't, if you hasn't logged in, you will have to fill out your information. So here you will put your email at gmail.com and your password. Password. Then you click login, and it's going to go and login for you. Anyway, the second step would be to see what you want to scrape. So if you want to scrape a scrape fan page, or if you want to scrape uh, groups. In this case, I'm going to just uh, scrape one and then right after I'm going to scrape the other. But uh, for that, I just will scrape first fan pages. So here, the step two, as you can see here, it says type your fan page keyword and click search. So in this case, I'm going to look for uh, fan pages related to marketing. Marketing. So I just put marketing and I click search. This is going to look on Facebook for pages related to marketing and what I'm going to do is I will just scroll down scroll down until I find like as many pages as I want like let's say I want this many pages then I just will stop but if I want more I just continue scrolling down until I get like around 100 or 200 pages depending on whatever you whatever many pages you want in this case I will just stop it uh, next uh, here we are going to get the HTML code However, just know that because Facebook has changed their uh, code, now it takes longer time to do these kind of things because now it downloads all the code from Facebook and it has many, many things. So if you see here on the results, this is like the message that I'm, I'm telling you, like when you get the HTML code, it would take time as Facebook loads more code than before. It might seem that it gets stuck, but it is doing many processes like clicking the quotes, removing unnecessary content, and it only keeps the content that is necessary for the search results. So in this case, uh, after you download and scroll down, we're going to put here get HTML content. And now we will have to wait. Probably we will have to wait like uh, one or two minutes uh, until all this is done. But you have a, a progress bar over there that is going to tell you how, how, what it's doing and um, how long it's going to take to finish that. In this case, as, as I said before, it seems like it's getting uh, stuck, but it's really downloading all the code from Facebook. And basically, right after, it's going to convert that into, a, uh, into an, uh, um, let's say, like code that it can be read from the program and then it's going to be extracting the links so at this point it already downloaded the code from uh, Facebook now what it's going to do the quotes will be transformed into um, uh, pound signs or hashtag signs that's because the program reads better with the quotes so it's converting that into a pound um, and right after that, it's going to start analyzing the code so I could extract it. So right now it's halfway through. As I said, it will take probably one or two minutes to do all this process. And same things for the groups. So whenever you're doing the groups, we are going to search uh, on the keyword for the type of groups that you want. Then we're going to get the HTML code. And once we have the HTML code, we are going to analyze the HTML code and we are going to retrieve the links that we need. The reason this works very well is because you are uh, copying the Facebook uh, uh, source code into a, into a text box and then you are analyzing it and then you are retrieving the information that you need. It's not like if you were uh, scraping the information and then just getting the information right away. If you do that, probably Facebook will know that you are scraping information. This is uh, just copying the code of the fan page, pasting it into a into a text box, and then uh, getting all the links that that um, that code inside has. 
So as I said, it might take a little bit of time to do all this, but it's because it's uh, it's getting many processes uh, together at the same time to clean this up and to make it easy for us to get all the information. So we just had to wait. Then we're going to click get links on the step number four, and then we're going to clean our list. So this is a very good program for you if you are planning on posting on different fan pages or if you are planning on posting on groups, uh, posting any kind of content because this gets you all the different fan pages related to your niche or to your keyword. It's very important that you get uh, groups or fan pages related to your marketing services or to your uh, kind of niche because those are target people. If you get people that is not in in the same business as you, probably it's going to be harder to promote anything to them. So, for example, if you are if you are selling shoes and you get uh, something completely different that than shoes, then it might be hard for you to be able to sell anything to those kind of people. So. This program allows you to search by a specific, uh, by a specific uh, niche keywords. Okay, so at this point, as you can see, it already make the quotes. Uh, the quotes disappear and they were transformed in pound signs. And we just wait, we wait a little bit more just to get the, just to get the content inside the, uh, inside the content window. Because right now, what it's doing is just looking for that part that contains the results it's removing everything else between the tags so once that is done we just click uh, get links and then we just uh, clean the list to remove duplicated items or to remove pages that we really don't need so this should be done pretty quick Okay, so it's finished. Right now, you could copy this code and paste it into your uh, Dreamweaver and analyze the code or whatever. Or you can just click get links. This will get all the links for fan pages. So you can see it looks for other things that we really don't need. That's why the next step is cleaning the list. So this already cleaned the list. We got 54 fan pages. And now we just click a uh, fan page to text box. We click copy this text box and we're going to open up a notepad and we're going to paste it. So here it got all the fan pages and it got some of my friends on, 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 on the fan pages. So what you will do is you will just go there, uh, look for your friends, let's say these ones, and then you just will remove it and just leave the fan pages that are the ones that you want to be posting to and right after that you will be able to import this into my fan page poster and then you will be able to post on these fan pages directly okay so this is for the fan pages the next step would be to go to the groups we change this to groups we're going to clear the list here so we have like a brand new uh, a brand new account and then we just click on here on marketing and then it's going to look for groups related to marketing so here are the groups just scroll down as before then you get the HTML code we'll go to this window you get the links they, they will be here and then you clean the list uh, fan page to text box and then copy text box open a notepad and paste it there and basically this is the fan page and group scraper if you like this software you can get it on autopostingtools.com i'm going to be uploading more videos soon for you and basically this program has many modules mo many modules that can help you to make money that can help you to increase your uh, clients and that can help you to generate traffic to your site so Thank you for watching. I hope you get this amazing software. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.